Hello, welcome to Mrs. Stanich's studio. Today you can see I'm working on my acrylic food painting. I started off with that underpainting, which was just a very light sketch with some yellow paint to kind of get the idea of the contours of the objects. Now you can see I'm going in with some flat colors and just kind of doing some color mapping and just trying to figure out um, my shadows, highlights, and some of like the, the main colors that are using in the painting. Now I'm starting to go in and because actually it's a very light layer of paint. So acrylic paint goes on very transparent. So I'm going to constantly be going on top of and overlapping and layering just to get the right consistency that I'm looking for. Um, acrylic paint dries very fast so I can go over it relatively quickly. But you can see I'm going here in the foreground and I'm adding more detailing. So that little sketch that I started off at the beginning, I was kind of mapping out some of the ideas of, of where things go. Now I'm kind of going in and detailing a lot more, adding shadows. Also, you can see a lot more of the detailing and taking time with a smaller brush to add some detailing. Here, this is the chocolate shavings on top of the cafe latte. Trying to add some more depth so it doesn't look so flat and adding more value ranges. Here I decided to use blue as a shadow color. I didn't want it to be gray or muddy, so I decided to make it pop a little bit with some more primary colors, especially since my Caprice salad has some really nice bright colors. Here I'm going in and I'm adding details making things look more like forms, giving it more value ranges, giving some more depth to the painting. So with the mozzarella cheese, even though I know it's a white cheese, I have to give it more depth. So I decided to go in and add some type of like a shadow color to, to give the idea of the surface of the cheese. In my photo reference, it didn't have as much of that depth and reference, but I decided to add it in and this was an artist's choice. I like how it turned out because it really did make it look more like a form, which I needed that to pop out since that's the uh, foreground of my painting and showing a lot of emphasis. The background of that painting, I still wanted to show some depth, even though it shouldn't be as much in focus, but I needed to kind of keep adding some more details to kind of give the idea of the entire uh, plating surface. So here's some final detailing into the porcelain, onto the piece, adding some more shadows, trying to give a little bit more depth. In the foreground too, just really trying to make things pop out, making sure that every single leaf and piece of tomato has highlights and shadows, even trying to add the texture of the pepper. Here you can see the detailing of this um, is kind of impressionistic, giving the impression, looking at highlights and shadows and light reflecting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your food painting and have enjoyed working with acrylic. I wish you guys the best of luck. Hope everybody's staying home, staying healthy and safe. See you soon.